area known as Patriot Place. EA Sports set for football at Gillette Stadium in Foxborough. All the success in New England over the last few decades, and this crowd has never been more enthusiastic. A moment ago, the Pats emerged from their locker room. They are set as they'll square off. And he'll make it across the 20 as his guys will set up shop at the 23-yard line with the Tennessee Titans. They go play action here on first down. And incomplete to open things up. Ben Watson was the intended target, the tight end. And it's second down. Nice play there to force the incompletion. And to me, one thing's for sure. When you're the underdogs and you're playing on the road, you absolutely have to get takeaways. You've got to get the ball from them. Yeah, win that turnover battle, going to be key. They didn't get one there, but you get the feeling they keep making plays like that. They might just get a few. Yeah, once you get one, defensive teams think they come in bunches. Takes this to the 27, give him four yards. That second down play call was not to pick up the first down. It was to accomplish what they did to get them into a manageable third down because they had the incompletion on first down, so they were behind the sticks, so to speak. They need to make up some ground, and they did. Throwing is Brady on third down. And a throw there going to be incomplete. So the defense able to get off the field here on third down. And it's one of the goals of the game. They've got to be effective on passing downs. It's one of the few things defenses chart. How did we do on third down? That's a nice start for them in this one. The Patriots send out their punter. Adam Humphreys deep for the Titans. And he'll get this away into the icy winter air. And that ball's going to angle out at the three-yard line. A beauty. That is how you flip field position. That's an absolute bomb of a punt. Downs it inside the five-yard line. Absolutely ideal. From that position, you're hoping to get it down inside the 15, inside the five. Superb. That's going to go as a loss of two, and it'll be second down. I like the idea to mix it up from time to time because, let's face it, you can't be predictable. But the execution was a little lacking on this one, right? They might want to go back to the drawing board with that call. So the opening play of the drive goes backwards. Now they'll come up on second and 12. Now a first carry for Derrick Henry. Officially, it will go as a one-yard loss, and that's going to lead to a third down. He has elite instincts from his linebacker spot. He's able to diagnose the run and flies in like a missile to stop that one behind the line of scrimmage. So time to start going in the other direction as they come up now third and long. Derrick Henry. Oh, and he's not going to make it out of the end zone. The push too strong, and that'll be a safety. Well, we, we thought these two defenses, they might come to play. One has already come to play here, a safety for the opening points of the game. Brandon, let's pile this play away because if it turns out to be a tight game, who knows? This could wind up being the difference. So a free kick situation forthcoming from the 20 as they'll punt this one away. Taken in at the 22. Let's go, boys. New England with a first down as they begin the drive. And the first drive, three and out. Second possession, see if they can get a little momentum. And oftentimes that first drive is just a feeling out process. You have some plays that you've got called and you want to see how defense reacts. It may not go terrific on the first one. Now they're ready to go. They've kind of got a look at them, got a sense. Let's see if they open things up a little bit. Let's see if they open things up. Let's see what the defense does here, too, after a good stop. That pass play wound up for negative yardage, so here's second and 11. Brady deferring to White on the draw. The second down play, not much better than the first. Just a gain of one there. 
Well, so many times we look at a short run and we praise the offense for trying to set the tempo and establish things, but the defensive guys, hey, they just won the battle there. It wasn't a big run given up. They don't always have to absorb the body blow. Sometimes they dish them out themselves. Now a play fake, Brady. And he's got Sanu. And they're gonna have this across midfield and inside the 45. 23 yards, the final tally. I've got to make sure that I don't take Tom Brady's greatness for granted, that we make it routine. How about that throw right there? Yeah. Another, another great completion. And you know one area where he honed his throwing? He was a catcher in high school. He was actually drafted by the Expos in 1995 in the 18th round. Well, that would have been something to see him behind the dish. I think he gunned down a few guys? Gunned down a few guys trying to steal second. That would have been fun to watch. And they'll be inside the 35 now at the 34-yard line. A good first down call as the screen play gets him nine. And we see another pitch and catch there to the running back. This position just continues to evolve. They become just as critical to the passing attack as a lot of receivers, tight ends, because their ability to make people miss in the open field can really generate big plays for an offense. It's a loss of five there, bringing up second. Here's Brady to throw. Throwing over the middle, and it's incomplete. Julian Edelman, the intended receiver, and that takes us from second to third down. Had an open man that time, but ended up putting a little too much heat on it, don't you think, partner? Absolutely, just needed a touch more air under it. Instead, he Mark fired an absolute Brady. bullet. The first down line at the 34 here on third down. Ready to throw again. And this is gonna be incomplete. Well, it certainly appears that they're going to try and keep getting him the football. That's the third time they've looked in his direction. Unfortunately, haven't completed one yet, but I'm not sure they're going to shy away from him. They feel like they've got something there, and they want to capitalize on it. I think it. you're right. We're only in the first quarter, so a lot of opportunities ahead. And this won't get there, won't be online either. It's no good, off to the right. The Titans offense set to begin the drive. And of course, coming off the safety, the last time they had the football, I never want that. No, that's pretty unique too, isn't it? When you give up points that way, and the scoreboard, you look up and it says two to nothing, it can throw you a little bit. Let's see if they can put that to the side and move forward. I call that play a success. A nice inside run sets up a very manageable second down, a very solid gain on that play. Ready, ready. The first down run got five. Here's second and five. Here's Tannehill. Throwing over the middle, but it's incomplete. Jonu Smith, the tight end, is intended receiver. And that'll make it third down. You and I watched film yesterday, and you told me to watch his feet. Well, yeah, for whatever reason, his footwork just looked off on that throw. And you always love it when an ex-defensive back yeah. talks quarterback mechanics, right? Well, but you're good at it. Well, I, I try, all right? I don't know how good I am, but it doesn't take much to tell. His mechanics are off a little bit, exactly what you described. Footwork, that led to the incompletion. And now the third down throw incomplete as well. Some mistakes already in the first quarter. If he holds on to that one, first down. Yeah, and I guarantee you that at least one defensive back out there has reminded him of that fact, trying to get into his head and hoping that'll affect him the rest of the game. On fourth down, here's Brett Kern to punt the football away. And this one hits at the one, continues on into the end zone for a touchback. So Brady and the Pats take over first and 10 at the 20. They'll run for the first time with Sony Michel. He'll get about three as he's taken down at the 23. They tried a quick hitter inside, but that one was swallowed up because what they're hoping, those big defensive linemen will take the bait and move laterally and open up a crease that they can run through. Didn't happen on that play. Now second and seven from the 23. They run the draw play. This is White. And he finds some space past the 25 to the 27. And still about three yards shy of a first as the four-yard pickup brings it to third down. We haven't seen much from him running the football here in this first quarter. No, you're right about that. We haven't seen much of him at all so far. They've stacked him up pretty well, but when you're trying to run the football, sometimes you've got to play the long game. Keep handing it to him, and some of those runs that aren't working now, they turn into six, seven, eight, and maybe more later on. 
And that's complete. It's Watson. And he gets this one just shy of the 40 to mark him down at the 39. That'll be a New England first down, a gain of 12. Throughout his career, Tom Brady has made a living with the quick pass, hasn't he? How about that one? A little slant inside. And I think his arm's gotten stronger throughout his career, too. Yeah. You can just see one of many examples of why he's made more trips to the Super Bowl than any other quarterback. Footwork, intelligence, competitiveness. That's Tom Brady in a nutshell. Seven yards, the pickup on the pitch and catch. An ex-teammate used to tell me all the time, I hate experienced quarterbacks because no matter what, you really can't hide what you're doing. And I think that right there, he knew right away where the blitz was coming from, where his primary guy was going to be, and he ended up going to a secondary target for a nice game. I was just going to ask you, that wasn't the primary target. And he's so good at that, isn't he? I think he knew right away that he wasn't going to get to his primary guy. I think he read that as soon as he got to the line of scrimmage, knew where the pressure was going to come from, and said, ah, I know how to beat that, and that's what he did. Got an extra defensive back out there for the Titans now here for third down. They'll try to pick this up on the ground with White. And he gets it down to the 48, enough for the first. Two yards and able to get the first down in the process. Brandon, what were they thinking on defense there? That looked like they were playing for the pass. That was third and short. Yeah, it was an easy pickup because... They handed it to him. That was way too easy. Just looked like absolute confusion defensively. Not sure why they were in that set. Yeah, I'd say you ought to have a few men in the box there. Now Brady. Complete to Watson, the tight end. The completion good for three, and it's second down. How about the timing on that one? Boy, they were in sync, weren't they? Three-step drop, balls out of his hands, right to the tight end. Nice completion, just like they do it in practice. That first down completion only netted him three. Second and seven. Brady. Slant route. Caught by Edelman. And he'll get it inside the 40 to the 39. The reception good for seven. It's third down. And when you're playing a quarterback with some experience and some moxie, you enter the danger zone when you decide to blitz him because if he's able to diagnose as he did on that play, he can hurt you downfield. He reads defenses so well, doesn't he? He really does, and the best part about that play for him, I don't think that was his primary target. I don't think so either. I think he had the read, figured out where the blitz was coming from, and went to a secondary target for a really nice game. Officially a gain of just a yard there, but they do convert on third and inches. Well, partner, what do you think? Might have been four down territory if they didn't pick it up, but... Yeah, it's a moot point now. I was curious, though, if they didn't get it there, would they have gone for it? I guess we'll never know. Yeah, we didn't have to make that call, but I have a feeling both of us would have said, go for it. Brady's throw there complete. And this will go as a gain of seven as he gets it to the 30-yard line. Seven yards, the pickup on the pitch and catch. Nice rhythm throw there on first down. He located his tight end, made a nice, easy pitch and catch. Hoping he can break a tackle or two. Wasn't able to do that there, but still good yardage. Able to get seven on that first down pass play. Second and three. Now Brady on the bootleg. That's to his running back, Sony Michelle. Everyone's got to be able to catch the football. Doesn't matter what position you play, but if you're on offense, be aware, a ball may come your way. They missed a field goal on their last drive. Here they need something to even get into field goal range on third down. On third down, a run from White. And he's able to get the first here as he's taken down at the 25. Give him three yards and a fresh set of downs. That's a tremendous group effort there because when you talk about offensive lines, the best ones talk about guys that play in harmony, in sync, and getting things done, and they did that on that play. Yeah, especially on third and one. Got to be in sync, and they were. Brady now to throw. Here's Sanu on the catch, and he takes it down to the 10-yard line. The Patriot passing game is rolling. They've got another first down. And another thing that makes the comeback route really effective is that oftentimes after you've made the initial move, receiver's breaking away from the defensive back, and that makes it a really tough play to defend. Nice chunk of yardage picked up there. 
The Patriots into the red zone for the first time. They've got a first and 10. And he's going to be taken down, sacked back around the 18-yard line. Jarrell Casey with a little how do you do as he gets in there for the sack. Well, that was point-counterpoint, wasn't it? They decide to throw for it on first and goal. Instead, the defense counters with pressure, and the defense wins, getting a big sack. Start of the second quarter from Foxborough. It's the homestanding Patriots with the football as they've got it with a second down coming up. Work to be done here on second and 16 after the sack. Throwing now is Brady. Toward the left sideline, but it's incomplete. He was looking for Mohamed Sanu there, and it'll bring up third down. When you see passes knocked down by those guys I call the frustrated fullbacks, the linebackers, you know that in their zone coverage, they were able to drop, My see God. the ball thrown, and react to it very quickly. An incomplete pass on that last play, and that means they'll need to come up with something here on third down. Shotgun now for Brady. He finds Dorsett. It's complete. And here he'll get it down to the seven. They pick up ten, but it'll still lead to a fourth down. I think a lot of people ask the same question all the time. Why do we see so many slants in the red zone? Well, the windows are tighter. Everything's more condensed. It has to be quicker, and you've got to deliver the ball on time. Your biggest worry, ball gets tipped in the air, because if that happens, then it's fair game for the defense. And the 11-year veteran bangs it through, and that will give us the very rare score line of 5 to nothing. So it's our first offensive points of the game so far, and it gives us a very rare scoreline. We don't see this one often, 5-0. Yeah, it's been sort of a weird one to this point, hasn't it? But hey, in this league, you take points any way you can get them. Now, after the field goal, Bailey will kick it away. This is taken at the three. And not a bad return here. He gets it out to the 25-yard line. The Titans offense set to begin the drive. This is their third drive right now. Maybe not about points, just about getting something. They haven't gotten a first down yet in this game. It's a mental barrier you don't think about until you go a couple of drives without getting a first down. Then all of a sudden it looms big. It gets harder and harder to actually attain that first first down. After the loss to start out, here's second and 11. I got one. Mike 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 go. Gotta do better. Now it's Henry. Looking for a seam, but finding none. He'll get back to the lot of scrimmage, and that's it. No gain that time, and it leaves him with third and 11 coming up. Some of these play calls, I think they're a little conservative, but you know me because it's easy to sit up in this booth, right, and make all the calls and, and think I'm going to be correct. But I would like to see them open things up because otherwise this defense is going to gang up on the run and set them down. It's brought in by Adam Humphreys. They'll get 10 there, but it leaves them just short for fourth down. So much about offense is what you call hidden yardage. You know, you, you throw the ball to someone, they catch it, and then they can make a big play. You know, they create a play, run after catch. They did a really nice job there of limiting that and keeping them from a first down. Yeah, stopped him in his tracks. His first punt, 48 yards. This one looks equally as good. And that one hits a little too close to the goal line. And it continues into the end zone for a touchback. Brady and the Patriots now first and 10 at their own 20-yard line. This drive starts out on the ground with Michelle. And he's going to get this one across the 30-yard line. That goes as a gain of 11 and a Patriot first down. Tremendous blocking by the interior of the offensive line. They didn't just gash him there. They blasted a gaping hole for him to gallop through. I think if he comes back to the huddle, he better be giving them a whole lot of credit and thanking them for that much space to rumble. Line of scrimmage, the 31 now on first and 10. First down, here's White. 
And he's going to get a solid gain of nine before being brought down second and right at a yard. Some runs are blocked so well, you almost forget that someone has to carry the ball to gain the yardage. The leverage by the offensive line to create space up front, really well done. The last run got nine. That leaves him with second and a yard. Hey, watch the slant. Hey, check it. Brady gives to Michelle. And he'll be stopped right at midfield. A 10-yard pickup, and it's enough for a Patriot first down. For a lot of guys playing this game, there's no better feeling than running right through a tackle. He's able to lower his center of gravity and churn his legs for a really nice pickup. Mike. Hey, both 66. On first down, it's White. And down to the 44, five yards that time. Partner, I think from our experience together, we have learned that most offensive coordinators are going to tell you, if I'm going to run the football on first down, I've got to get at least four yards. they got five here. They've got to feel pretty good about that one. After the pickup of five, here's second and five. I'm going to come back to you. I'm going to come back to you. Now they'll throw with Brady. He's got a man complete. It's Julian Edelman. And he's going to have another first down as the tackle's made at the Titans' 34-yard line. The former seventh-round pick, Julian Edelman, just continues to have such a productive career. And has made himself into a receiver. Remember, he was a college quarterback, and not just a productive one, a very good one. At Kent State, right? Yes, a great leader, a guy who could make plays with his feet and his arm. Got to the NFL and had to convert into being a receiver and was drafted that way. And that conversion, oh boy, it's been good. Five yards is the tally on first down. That brings up second and five. Wait, that. We need your head. Wait, 20. Crunch time, defense. Wait, we hit. On second down, they'll run with White. And he'll take this down just shy of the 25-yard line. Still a couple yards short of the first as the three-yard gain brings up a third down. New England on third down. They've had good success, five for eight to this point. This time they face a third and two. Brady gives this to White. Well, they hit him in the backfield, and he will not escape. And that is not going to get it done. That'll make it fourth down after a loss of one. They tried to run right into the teeth of the defense on third down, but um, looked like those teeth were pretty sharp. <laughs> <laughs> they were having absolutely none of it stuffed him for a loss. Yeah, couldn't get any leverage up front and move people aside in order to run the ball. And Folk's kick is good. And thanks to his safety and two field goals, this is now an 8-0 game. So the scoring drive encompasses nine plays, and the net result, three points. Take your disappointment and put it aside. Nine plays, yeah, they want to end up in the end zone with a touchdown. I get that. But sometimes those nine-play drives pay dividends later with another nine-play drive that culminates in a touchdown when they wear down a defense. Now, after the field goal, Bailey will kick it away. This will be taken in at the one. And nice work on the return as they'll start their drive just past the 30-yard line. Line of scrimmage, the 31 now on first and 10. First carry for Deion Lewis, who won a Super Bowl with the Patriots. And he's corralled at the 40, but not before picking up eight. Just what you want on a first down run. Call it eight yards, and it's second and two. First play of the drive. Let's give credit all around. Excellent blocking, but the guy carrying the ball, he was the finisher. A really nice run. From the 40 now on second down, Tannehill. Blitz coming, and down he goes. 
Dante Hightower coming in for the sack from his linebacker spot. Well, that play was the very definition of fast, quick, and in a hurry. Suddenly, he was there. Yeah, blink of an eye. That happened fast and a big sack. The Titans on third down. 0 for 3 to this point. They could use a conversion. This is third and 8. Out of the gun, Tannehill. He's going to air one out. And he can't hang on to it. Nearly picked. He's known for his hands defensively. But instead, it just brings up fourth down. Well, earlier in the quarter when the defense was keying on the run, you said offensively they need to open things up, take some shots downfield. Didn't work there, but they did it. Yeah, I'm not going to change my tune now. I still think it's the right play because when you take those shots downfield, you open the eyes of the defense to what you could do to them, and that may open some things up for you offensively. The Pats at the line, ready to go. And they split the uprights last time for three. They've got the lead. They're not going to play this conservative. They're not hoping for another field goal. They're hoping for a touchdown. I'm with you on that one. I like where your head is. I like the way you're thinking because you're exactly right. Trying to sit on a lead and play that way, that doesn't work too well for most teams. Run your offense. Yeah, Run what you do best. On the gas. Exactly. Put it all the way down and try to increase your lead in a big way. And the best way to do it, touchdowns. Just like that, just like that. Check. Keeping it on the ground on first, Michelle. Now the result here, a pickup of eight. Leaves him with two to go on second That's down. It, That's it. That's that was a good run, probably right on the edge of breaking into something really big. So the defensive guys right now are talking about, okay, what can we do? to slow him down before he truly gets started. Eight yards the gain on that last run. Here's second and a couple. Play action, now it's Brady. Oh, a battle for it here, and this will be caught. And he's gonna have another first down as the tackle's made at the Titans 39. I know the halftime's approaching, but I don't think he's going to want to take a break. That's his fifth catch. Yeah, they've really been targeting the tight end. So operating from Tennessee territory now. Here's first and 10 at the 39-yard line. Brady going to throw. Looking for Edelman, and he hits him. It's complete. Four yards on that last completion, so that sets up second and six. Throwing quickly, that's caught by Sanu. And that play went nowhere. Losing yardage, it'll be back at the 36. Well, I know it goes against the instincts of the person catching the ball because all you're ever taught is catch the football, don't drop it. But drop it there. Yeah, in that situation, <laughs> dropping it would have been better. End up losing yardage even though they completed the pass. As good as a sack. Yeah, how about that? Although they won't get the same credit for it, and it won't help them at contract time. Well, they need to get to the 29 if they want to pick up a first here on third down. Now Brady again. And that is incomplete. It's easy to see when we review this that the ball needs to come out quicker because if you don't throw it right on the break, you bring a crowd of people into the equation. And that's why it got knocked away there. Here's Nick Folk now on for the field goal. From the left hash, this from 53 yards out. And this will split the uprights. It's right down the middle. And that will extend the lead to 11 to nothing. These kickers now, it used to be that a 50-plus yarder was cause for celebration, now seemingly automatic. Yeah, isn't it funny? When we prepare for a game, when you look at the backgrounds of these kickers, it's interesting, isn't it, to find out they were all-state quarterbacks, receivers, defensive backs, all-state wrestlers, right? Baseball players. We're finding athletes all along, and now they're just specialists putting it through the posts. Now, after the field goal, Bailey will kick it away. 
This will be fielded at the six. And a nice job there as he gets this one up just shy of the 35-yard line at the 34. From the 34 now, here's first and 10. From the gun, here's Tannehill. This will be caught by Brown. 10 yards on the pickup there, and it'll be second down. And just a small glimpse there as to why they like this rookie so much. And that's why they lit up a little bit in our meetings with the coaching staff, didn't Yeah, they? when we talked about him, they did. Yeah, yeah, you know, they like his work ethic. You know, this guy's running every route well in the route tree and getting better at it all the time, really honing his game. They expect a pretty good jump out of him as things continue to move on. That one, a first down pickup of eight. Good throw, good catch, but I really like the route. The drag and being able to run away from defenders, hard to stick with them for that long. Yeah, better against man than zone or... Better against man because now you're running away from someone and you're not running into a defensive player in another zone. Now here's a pass on first down that's knocked away and incomplete. Jonathan Jones that time, the one who got a hand in, knocked it away. So he's three for seven throwing the football right now. Not an awful start, but also not the sharpest of starts. No, I would agree with that. But if you're a confident quarterback and to play that position, you have to be. You just act like there's something wrong with the wind currents or something wrong with the ball. It is not you. Keep throwing. That timing usually develops. Another throw on second down, and this one incomplete as well. Feels like they're getting caught in between here because they had incompletions on first and second down. Now you got to worry a little bit about the clock because you prefer not to give them another shot here in the first half. But if you don't pick up the first down, guess what? You're likely going to have to. So back-to-back -back incompletions, and that has them staring at a third and ten. To the air again, Tannehill. And eventually he's taken down here. Great coverage downfield, resulting in the sack. Here's Brett Kern now. He's been one of their few bright spots so far. And not what he was hoping for there, as this will hit in the end zone for a touchback. Brady now on first down. Caught by the tight end, Watson. And he's taken down right at the 45-yard line. Now the Patriots will use the second of their timeouts as they'll stop him with a little over 30 seconds to go in the first half of play. Football going back over to the New England Patriots, who, as we discussed earlier, haven't had the smoothest of roads this year. But, you know, we talked about it. They're back in the playoffs for the 11th straight season. And I mentioned that Tom Brady and people doubting him late, and here we go again. But I will say, and if you disagree, disagree. This year feels a little different, doesn't it? I, I don't know that they have that same power. I want to disagree in a big way because we've seen this so many different times. Remember, 10th straight season with 11 or more wins, and there's always doubters. But I think you're actually on to something. This slump on offense that we saw really starting with the Baltimore game. Remember, they were 8-0 up until Baltimore. Then they hit a stretch counting the Baltimore game where they went 3-3 three and three and really struggled to score. I think you're right about it. They've never looked more vulnerable. And at the same time, I can't believe I just said that because if there's anything the Patriots have done and proven to us over the years, doubt us if you want to. We usually end up in the Super Bowl. Yeah, I don't want to play both sides of the fence, but I'm going to. I still wouldn't be shocked if they won the Super Bowl whatsoever, but it does feel a little different this season. If they do win the Super Bowl, it will be done a different way. And then we'll be talking about how great they are one more time. But I do think that this is the year. If you want the Patriots, this is the year to go get them. Five yards on the pickup, and just like that, it's third down. Now a timeout signaled for, and they'll get it with 10 seconds to go before halftime. That's what I'm talking about. Nice hit, boy. So on third down, the field goal unit will come out as they'll try to get three before half. 
They'll spot it at the 30, so this is a four. Oh, they get to the football. It's blocked. It's picked up. A live ball here. He's got a convoy, and he might be gone. He's at the 30. 10. And with a clock reading zeros, he is into the end zone. What an exclamation mark to the end of this second quarter. Indeed. Indeed. They haven't fully climbed the mountain, but they've started the ascent here with that score. I like that, right? They've, I think they've left base camp now, there okay? So they've started to move their way up the mountain. Long way to go, but at least they know it's manageable. All right, Coach, thank you, and we welcome everyone back for quarter number three. This fielded at the two. And he'll take it up past the 25 to the 26-yard line. The Titans offense set to begin the drive. These guys had to punt last time. It has not been a very fruitful game offensively thus far. They haven't even made a trip to the red zone. And I know that everyone's going crazy on that sideline because that drives you berserk to come off the field, not really move the ball well. As you said, not even get to the red zone, let alone you know not even put points on the board. They've got to just take a deep breath, relax, try and figure out what is working, and call more of that. Once again, they'll come up on the 26-yard line, second and 10. A second down run with Lewis. And he's taken down, but able to slip across the 35. Let's That's go, a first down go, pickup for Tennessee on a gain of 10. Pardon, if you want more carries, I think we saw how you get him. Showed that he's got the fresh legs, and he picked up the first down on that run. Don't just ask for him. Show him that you're supposed go, to get the football. 50, so from the 36 now, first and 10. <laughs> They keep it on the ground. This time it's Henry. A solid run on first down. Gain of seven leaves him with a second and three. Well, no matter how they phrase it, staying on schedule, staying ahead of the sticks, whatever you want to call it, seven yards on first down, that fits the bill. A good run got seven on first. Here's second and three. They run with Lewis out of the gun. Only a yard on the pickup, so a good situation on second and two. It's now third and one. But well, we just saw a great example of what we talked about with his coach prior to the game. He's definitely one of the better linebackers at reading a play and flowing to make the stop before it turns into something big. These guys have punted four times already, and they're staring at a fifth, barring a conversion here on third down. He can run for it, and he will. And he won't be close to a first down as he runs into a wall right around the line of scrimmage. Call it no gain on the keeper, and it's going to bring up a fourth down. Another down on the scoreboard, but the urge to go for it is almost irresistible here on fourth and short. Yeah, I know. I know they're on their own side of the field. I was going to say. Normally, I would say punt the ball away, but I'm feeling it. I say go for it. And he deserves a bronze leg as he gets this one away. And a bit of a mistake there. This is well into the end zone for a touchback. So Brady and the Pats take over first and 10 at the 20. They begin with Michelle on the ground. And he'll run straight into a wall of tacklers at the line of scrimmage. It's second down. And as a defensive end, getting off the ball quickly, swarming to the football, making a tackle, that's what we saw right there. Yeah, and that's what their job is. And really, a lot of the time, they have to throttle back a little bit in the run game because you know those defensive ends are like in a sprinter stance. They're just headed straight for the quarterback. That was good recognition on that play to hold them to no gain. The throw complete to Dorsett. And they're going to get this beyond the 40 before he's taken down. Last play, they got stuffed at the line. Different story here, over 20 yards. And defensively, they were in zone coverage there. Do you have to be a little careful you're losing playing against a good quarterback like he is to not play too much zone? Yeah, you have to be careful about how much time you're giving up. I think it's a good point you just brought up. So maybe if you still want to play zone, you go to a zone blitz game and you can drop anyone out of your defensive front. Defensive end, defensive tackle, it doesn't matter. You just exchange someone to bring more pressure towards the quarterback and still try and cover downfield. Well, with that incompletion, you know, Charles, one of the big storylines in the final few weeks of the season lies in the AFC South. Tennessee and Houston battling back and forth. Houston won round one, week 15, a victory in Nashville. But which of those two teams do you think has the potential to go deeper in the playoffs? Well, Tennessee just lost at home to Houston, and now we'll have to go on the road to play them again in Week 17. So I would say, on the surface, you would think Houston. 
They have the quarterback as well in Deshaun Watson that scares everyone. But I'm picking Tennessee as a team that could go deeper because of their defense. That's really a top five defense on any given Sunday. Their ability to rush the passer, their ability to play the ball in the air. I like that tennis. Nowhere to escape, and he goes down. Jarrell Casey able to drop him that time for his second sack of the evening. And that's his second sack of the game, but this player, disruptive in all phases, whether he's going upfield, coming underneath, you name it. He's a big-time guy you have to block. The Patriots send out their punter as he'll kick it away for the second time. And a nice job here on special teams. This will be down inside the 10 at the 8-yard line. And for an offense that is struggling, this is not where you want to start from. Great punt. Fantastic punt. And for all those who wonder, what do punters do during the course of practice each and every day? The best ones do what we just saw there. Work on positioning the football and helping their team. Well, the strategy was evident there. Get it to your tight end and make it a one-on-one -on -one play with a cornerback. Who's yeah. usually going to win that hey, one? The tight end, but not there. Not in this situation. How about the corner defeating that logic and making a really nice tackle? Yeah. On second down, here's Henry. Yeah. And they're able to swarm him behind the line, and his rough night continues. It's a four-yard pickup there, and it leaves him with third and five. Tough first half for him, unable to put up the numbers he's used to producing. But with a guy like him, you and I both know it just takes a couple of explosive touches for him to make an impact on this game and on the stat sheet as well. These guys have punted four times already, and they're staring at a fifth, barring a conversion here on third down. Now throwing on third down there, but he cannot connect. And we're into the second half now, and this is an offense that continues to struggle to sustain a drive. Looks like they're just totally out of sync, whether they're running the ball, passing the ball like we saw there. I don't know. The rhythm seems off. Here's Brett Kern now, standing about a yard deep in his own end zone. A big boot that time, 57 yards the official distance. And the Patriots take over. Ball up to the 35 now as they come up on first and 10. They start to drive with White. And he'll be tackled right on the chalk of the 45. A 10-yard pickup, and it's enough for a Patriot first down. First downs have not come easy, and neither have runs like this throughout this game. Absolutely not. He finally felt like, whoa, a sigh of relief. We got something going in the running game. Brady, a quick throw out to Edelman. He had a great move, but he'll still be stopped shy of midfield. That throw good for four. It's second down. Wait, 10, wait, 20. Five, five, five. Let's go, D. Big series right here. We got hit. Wait, and that'll three. set him back five. 54, right there, right there. 54, Mike. Okay, let me go, man. On the draw, it's White. And that didn't fool anybody. He's going to be dropped in the backfield. Oh, the yeah. second down play results in a loss of two yards. Brandon, when you and I sit down and play chess, you're always winning. So I've got to figure out how to get that done. But we're watching a real chess match today between the offense and the defense. And on that play, called a draw, the defense ended up winning. On third and long, it's Brady. And able to find Dorsey. And he takes this one down almost all the way to the 30. And he's going to have another first down as the tackle's made at the Titans' 31-yard line. I know many people like to throw to the tight end, maybe in a little flexed-out position because he creates mismatches with his size. But slot receivers do the same thing with their quickness, their speed, and their route-running savvy. Now a first down carry. It's Michelle. And inside the 20 before he's brought down. That one good for 13 at a New England first down. Now this is an example of breaking down a defense because on a lot of these runs, he's getting past the point of attack. And guess what he's doing? 
forcing the secondary guys to have to make a lot of tackles. Alabama, 380. All right. Here we go. Let's go, Z. Let's go. Into the red zone. It's Brady. Caught by Sanu. And able to get him down, but he does reach the five. 13 yard gain yet again, just like last play. Great mix of play calling so far. Three runs, three passes. All three passes have been completions. First and goal. I think on defense now, you have to almost take a chance. Rely on your scouting. Pick a play you think they would run here and just load up for it and see what happens. Try to pound it in here with Michelle. And this is going to result in losing yardage. They're driven back to the eight-yard line. A loss of a full three yards, and now it's second down. Bear in mind, that wasn't a big lineman back there for the tackle for loss. That was a cornerback. So are you saying the myth has been shattered? That all of them are not just cover corners? Some of them actually will stick their nose in and tackle when necessary? That's what we just saw, isn't it? Second down and goal. Brady has a man and it's Edelman for the Patriot touchdown. Eight yards on the touchdown pass. And the Patriots, they add on to their lead. And that touchdown ends a streak, for lack of a better word, of three field goals that they put on the board previously. They finally cracked the code. Yeah, they'd been down there. They'd been in enemy territory, as you said. They just hadn't been able to punch it in until that point. Full connects on the extra point, And that pushes the lead up to 11. Bailey now to kick it away after the touchdown. This one fielded at the five. And it's a pretty good return here as he'll get it up to the 29-yard line. The Titans offense set to begin the drive. These guys had to punt their last possession, and that's become too familiar of a refrain. Too many of these drives just wound up going nowhere. Well, you know how in baseball, when the pitcher gets a base hit and he's on base, they bring his jacket out to him to keep him warm? A lot of times, the punter goes to the sideline, puts on sweatpants or a wrap over his leg to keep it warm. He might need a massage from the trainer right now <laughs> from all the work he's getting. Here's second and 10 now from the 29. Get it. Oh. Tannehill got a man it's Brown and he slips up past the 45 before being Let's go, tackled Let's go. Tennessee getting the first down on a big play of 18 yards and boy they had high praise for this rookie receiver when we asked the coaches about him didn't they they certainly did and obviously they liked his measurables otherwise they wouldn't have brought him on to the team height weight speed all of that but how about what they really said? Competitiveness. That's what they really liked about him. The way he goes after the football, competes for it, and decides when it's in the air, it's his and only his. First down, Titans gain of 12. Now, they struggled to get him rolling on the ground in the first half, and that's sort of continuing here in the third quarter. Yeah, but I don't think it's time to abandon the running game. I would say keep feeding the horse, and I believe he'll eventually reward them, especially as we get deeper in the game. So into Pat's territory now. Here's first and 10 right at the 40. They run on first down as they're able to get this forward for about four. It's a pickup of four, and it'll bring up second down. Oftentimes we praise an offense for their variety of being able to hit people with the run in the past. But in this game, how about what we're seeing from the safeties? They are all over the field. Doesn't matter if they threw it or if they're trying to run it. I don't think we've ever awarded an MVU most valuable unit, but you're right. It might go to them in this game. I like that. MVU. Well done. And he won't get much. Maybe a couple down inside the 35 to the 34. What a luxury to have a guy like this who can not only spell your starter, but can come in and keep drives going. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. 
A shotgun snap for Tannehill. And that will be incomplete. Well, the other day they told us when we've got third and five or less, we have to be able to convert. And I guess every team would say that, Charles, but an opportunity miss there. What they were trying to tell us is they believe it's a matchup game at that point. And they liked some matchups that they had, thought they could exploit them, unable to do so on that play. And his kick is good. Oh, he just did tuck it into the bottom of that left corner. And high fives for that one as that drive ends in three. These kickers now, it's like we take them for granted. Kicks like that used to be such a big deal, and now you just expect them to make it. Yeah, you're exactly right, and we shouldn't take them for granted, but I have a theory about it. You want to hear it? Yep. They are more athletic now than ever before. Talk about kickers. Mm -hmm. Trace their backgrounds, trace their histories. You'll find that they were big-time athletes all along, but their kicking was so prevalent that we made them specialists. Well, and now those 50-plus yarders seem easy for some reason. Joseph now to kick this one away. This fielded a few yards into the end zone. And no run back here. This will be a touchback, and it comes out to the 25-yard line. Brady and the Patriots now first and 10 at their own 25-yard line. Here's a throw, complete right side to start things out. 10 yards on the pickup there, and it'll be second down. Still a few inches short of a first down as they come up now on second down. And they're not going to get to the line to run another play. So we will switch ends as the third quarter has come to a close. We'll return with more after this break. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. To throw again on second down. Brady complete to Watson, the tight end. And to the 42-yard line here and brought down there. Seven yards there and a first down. When an offense reads blitz, doesn't matter where it's coming from, tight ends know that they become a big part of the passing game because they should be an easy outlet when all those extra bodies are trying to get to the quarterback. A hot route, so to speak. And the play clock is going to run out here. They're in no hurry to get a playoff. That's going to go down as a loss of five, and it brings up third down. Now they need 15 yards on this series after the delay of game, first and 15. Throwing now is Brady. It's a short one here, complete to the tight end. It's a gain of five, and it'll be second and ten. They gave up the completion there, but this is what zone defenses count on, catching the ball and not much run after the catch. Wait, 53! On play action, it's Brady. And his throw here is incomplete. First quarter, Charles, you really emphasized the importance of winning the turnover battle as a visiting team, as an underdog. They haven't forced a single turnover in this game. And right now they're losing, so no turnovers might lead to no victory. Big play coming up. Here's third and ten. I would expect to see some pressure here. And the blitz does come. He's got Sanu. And he takes this one down almost all the way to the 30. And he's going to have another first down as the tackle's made at the Titans' 31-yard line. Couldn't just sit on it here, could they? Had to throw the ball on third down. Got the big completion in the pickup. Fresh set of downs now. They've got to feel great. And defensively a backbreaker. So operating from Tennessee territory now. Here's first and 10 down at the 31. Brady's throw there complete. That throw good for four. It's second down. It's vitally important to wrap him up immediately because if you let that big guy get ahead of steam up, boy, then you've got real trouble trying to get him down. But they're able to hold him to a short gain on first down. Four yards on that last completion, so that sets up second and six. Again, it's Brady. Here's Sanu on the catch. 
And he'll be brought down inside the 20 at the 19. Seven yards there and a first down. Brady's got his guys first and 10, and he's six of seven now on this drive. From the red zone now, they'll look to throw. And he's got his favorite target yet again. It's complete. And they'll work this down to the 15 for a pickup of four. That throw good for four. It's second down. It certainly feels like there are more stars at the tight end position than there were even 10 years ago. And I think it's become more of a glamour position because of the ways it can hurt a defense, and guys want to be involved. They can be in line, close to the line of scrimmage. They can split out like receivers. But hands, route running, speed, and some toughness to go across the middle, you put it all together, you got a heck of a tight end candidate. Now well, Brady gets away with one. Lucky could have been intercepted, but it falls to the ground. And they'll be in search of six yards here on third down. This is now the ninth play of the drive. Brady to throw again. And this is caught. It's Edelman. And he gets the first down yardage he needs before he's brought down at the six. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. He's been the go-to guy. They needed a big play there on third down. Went his way. It worked out. Doesn't matter whether they've scouted it or that they think he's going to get the ball. He has a knack for finding his way open and completing the connection. Here's Brady to throw. That's complete to his running back, Burkhead. And he's going to be brought down just shy of the five at the six. Only a yard in the completion. It's second and goal. I know most of the time when the ball's in the air, you're thinking wide receiver, tight end, but running backs, they can be a big part of any passing like offense that, nowadays. The six-yard line, the line of scrimmage I know, I know. on second and goal. Now Brady again. Looking right sideline, but it's incomplete. This has been a long drive. You got to figure a field goal would be a letdown. Can they convert now on third and goal? Here's Brady. To the end zone, but it's incomplete. I'm going to need some help with this one. How did he miss him? Wide open in the end zone. He's not hurried. He's not hit. And somehow, Incomplete? Yeah. What happened? During film study, that's one where he's just going to shake his head, not be able to believe it. Six points go by the wayside on that one. And Folk's kick is good. And that will extend their lead even further. A big one there. That gives him a little cushion and makes it a two-score game. Yeah, bled a little time off the clock, put some points on the board. It's not totally out of reach yet, but it has to feel pretty good to them right now because as a defender... You go out on the field and say, guess what? You can put some points on the board, but that won't beat us. Now, after the field goal, Bailey will kick it away. That'll be taken in the end zone. And no run back here. This will be a touchback, and it comes out to the 25-yard line. Tannehill and the Titans come up now first and 10 at their 25-yard line. And now a throw on first down there, but it's incomplete. We have not seen a whole lot of wide open receivers. Everything seemingly has been contested. And that's another nice job there to force an incompletion. They've been very cohesive, knowing each other's moves all game long, and they've been on the spot just about every time. And they've held them in check on the scoreboard. On second and 10, Tannehill. This will be caught by Brown. And they're able to get this one across the 35. First down, Titans gain of 12. 
this possession means so much for them. They've got to focus on this drive and find a way to make this a one-possession game. Yes. Got to get a score. Yeah, so good with a field goal. Don't necessarily need a touchdown. Tannehill now a perfect 8-for-8 eight eight to start the second half. Not bad. First and 10. Here's Tannehill. He completes it to Henry. It's a loss of a yard there, and it's second down. Really good defensive effort. They were all over that little swing pass out to the right side before lost yarded. Terrific read, better execution, and done with a lot of enthusiasm, wasn't it? Absolutely. They saw it all the way, ran to the football, and caused a nice play for lost yardage. That pass play wound up for negative yardage, so here's second and 11. Now a toss left side into the hands of his tight end. That catch good for only a yard, and it'll be third down. That was an okay hook up there with his tight end, but unfortunately, they didn't get the kind of yards they had hoped for. That's going to bring up third down. The Titans on third down. It has been a disaster. 0 for 8 thus far. This is third and 10. Now Tannehill. Goes underneath for Henry. Nothing doing on that one, and it'll be fourth down. Did they maybe play that too safely on third down? I know you don't want to just throw a ball blindly downfield, but that didn't help them a whole lot. I think they probably said if it's open, take the shot. If not, get something safe because we do have fourth down to try and pick it up. All right, they're going to try and keep hope alive here on fourth down. They're going for it. Here we go on fourth. Tannehill. He finds Humphreys. The time to pull out the stops is now, and they convert there on fourth down. What a throw right there for the first down. He has taken some real punishment in this game, but still standing in the pocket completing that one. He's a flat-out warrior. There's no question about that. How about him stepping hey. up into the teeth of the rush and delivering there for that big strike and that big pickup? Now a first down throw, Tannehill. And that incompletion breaks a string of five straight connections. And it's second down. Okay, I'm not quite sure how to judge that one. Maybe he didn't have enough legs underneath him. Mechanics might have been off. Maybe some fatigue. That one came up short. Yeah, fourth quarter. Maybe you do start to watch as the arm there, the leg's still there. This has been a tough game. An incomplete pass on first down. That leads to a second and ten. Back to throw. Tannehill looking middle, and it's incomplete. He was trying to get it to A.J. Brown that time. And now it's third down. I know coaches tell us all the time that having a powerful arm isn't the number one thing they look for in a quarterback. But when you're trying to throw inside routes and you need to put some heat on it, on, it set. helps to have the big A. gun. In this case, just a little bit too much. Tight, tight down, tight down. Now they face a third and ten after back-to-back -back incompletions. And finding Proen. And he's got another first down as the tackle's going to be made at the Patriots 33. And in a two-score game, obviously, every play, every third down, like we saw there, magnified big pickup. It was a huge pickup. What they really want, though, is to not even get to third down. They've got to maximize time and conserve as much as possible. Tannehill on first down. And this will be incomplete. Physical play on the football there, and it's second down. They went with a dime look on defense. Two extra defensive backs on the field and covered up essentially every blade of grass. That allowed them to disrupt the play. Second and 10 from the 33-yard line. Tannehill throwing again. He'll get this one into the hands of Lewis. Just a one-yard pickup on the play, and that'll bring up a third down. down. The Titans on third down, not getting the job done at all. A very poor one for ten. This is third and nine. To the air again, Tannehill. And he's got his tight end, that's Smith. And he's got another first down as the tackle's going to be made at the Patriots 14. But correct me if I'm wrong, you know, you're down two scores. I don't think you need to rush just yet, but you can't take your time either. Yeah, even if you don't want to commit to full two-minute offense, you have to up the tempo, up the urgency. Maybe you're starting to call two plays in a huddle each time you snap the ball. Tannehill. 
He's got Lewis. And the stop will come inside the five at the four. Ten yards on the pickup there, and it'll be second down. One receiver right, that's Brown. So second in inches after that first down completion went just shy of the marker. Now a second down throw for the end zone, but it's incomplete. The offense on third down tonight, they've converted just twice and have had plenty of opportunities. They're looking at third and a few inches. Here's Tannehill. And this is intercepted, and that should do it. Devin McCourty picks it off. So Brady and the Pats take over first and 10 at their own 20-yard line. They'll run it. This is Michelle trying to run inside, but nothing there. Tackle made there by Camille Correa. Got to figure now, after getting that turnover, they're just going to be happy to keep the ball on the ground, right? This is where covering the football, taking care of the ball, all the ball security Mike, terms Mike, that have Mike, ever been hey. used, they come into play for the guys on offense right now. Just take care of it, and they've got a good chance of ending up winning this game. <laughs> and it's Michelle once again. Now this is a big third down, and you'd have to think we'd see a timeout right away if they can't stop him here. They'll try and run for it. Here's Michelle. And he will be very close to a first down, but I see the closed fist of the referee, and that means fourth down. The Patriots send out their punter as he's on to kick it away. Yeah, he was looking for the checkup bounce, didn't get it. That scoots all the way into the end zone now for a touchback. Trying to shake off the interception from the last drive. He'll look to throw. Complete. Smith has it. And he's brought down at the 24 after a gain of four. That throw good for four. It's second down. Short play like that in this situation this late, that's a win for the defense. No doubt. And I remember something Coach Madden used to talk about all the time. Sometimes you can't just take what the defense gives you. You have to take what you need. And in this case, the offense is taking what the defense is giving them, not what they need. Let's not quibble about the game there on second down. That was a positive play because that was a take-what-you-can-guess situation. Got out to the tight end. Now it gives them a much better opportunity to convert on third down. Ready, ready, An extra corner comes on four. now for the Patriots' D on third down. From the gun, here's Tannehill. And off the deflection, it's caught. And he's able to get the first before he's taken down at the 36. And yeah, that's good for a gain of six. Now that's a defensive coordinator's nightmare right there. You're covering everyone, and the guy's not even the intended receiver ends up making the play. Right place, right time, I guess. When that ball's tipped up in the air like that, you've got to go up and get it. Offense and defense, and in this case, the offense ended up grabbing it. Brown. Give him 16 yards there, a Tennessee first down. Well, this is how you shake the thoughts of that interception on the last drive. You come out and start this one four for four. And watching him throw it around with that type of confidence reminds me of a guy I played with way back when who told me, I don't care if I throw 10 interceptions go, in a row, go. I'm going to stay confident, keep flinging it. I'll just figure there's something wrong with the football. Tannehill now rebounding nicely after the interception. He's hit four straight to start the drive. It's first down. Now Tannehill. 
Going underneath for Lewis. And he's going to get this inside the 30. Here we go. Here now we the go. Titans will use their third go. and final timeout as they get it with just 19 seconds left on the clock. Tannehill on the offense with a first and 10. And he's hit on all five of his pass attempts on this drive so far. Again, Tannehill. He'll get this one complete to Davis. And down inside the 15, shy of the 10. Give him 16 yards there, a Tennessee first down. So this will wind up a victory for the New England Patriots. And they were spurred on by a strong performance in that fourth quarter as they held their opponents off the scoreboard. Everyone wants to pitch a shutout for the entire game, but when you throw one in the fourth quarter, that tells everyone that you're getting stronger and dominance is starting to take over, right? The way that you close, the way that you finish, that gets preached to you from the time you're playing Little League football all the way up through. And they closed them out with a big time performance down the stretch. So that'll do it for us, for Charles Davis and all our crew. I'm Brandon Gunn. You've been watching the NFL on EA Sports. The Patriots winners here at home as we say so long from Foxborough.